Welcome back, history enthusiasts. Today, we embark on an incredible journey through time to explore the captivating life of one of history's most iconic figures, Napoleon Bonaparte. From his meteoric rise to power to his ultimate downfall, Napoleon's story is one of ambition, triumph, and tragedy. So grab your virtual passports as we dive into the rise and fall of Napoleon Bonaparte. Our story begins on the island of Corsica in 1769, where Napoleon Bonaparte was born. From an early age, Napoleon displayed exceptional leadership qualities and an insatiable thirst for knowledge. As a young man, he was sent to mainland France for his education, setting the stage for his future greatness. Napoleon's military career kicked off during the tumultuous years of the French Revolution. He quickly rose through the ranks, demonstrating his tactical brilliance and strategic thinking. In 1799, during a coup d'état, he seized power and became the first consul of France. With his newfound authority, Napoleon set out to transform France and consolidate his power. He implemented a series of reforms known as the Napoleonic Code, which laid the foundation for modern legal systems. His military campaigns across Europe expanded the French Empire and solidified his status as a military genius. In 1804, Napoleon crowned himself Emperor of the French, an audacious move that symbolized his ambition and desire for dominance. His coronation was a grand affair, attended by prominent figures from across Europe. Napoleon's charisma and ability to captivate audiences were evident in this defining moment. As emperor, Napoleon implemented numerous reforms that revolutionized French society. He introduced meritocracy and government positions, established public schools, and reformed the tax system. His ambitious infrastructure projects, such as the construction of the Arc de Triomphe, showcased his vision for a modernized France. However, Napoleon's thirst for power led to a series of wars that engulfed Europe. The Napoleonic War saw France pitted against coalitions of European powers determined to halt his expansion. Napoleon's military brilliance won him several decisive victories, but ultimately, his adversary's combined strength proved insurmountable. One of the most significant turning points in Napoleon's downfall was his ill-fated invasion of Russia in 1812. Ignoring the harsh Russian winter and the vastness of the Russian territory, Napoleon's forces suffered catastrophic losses. This military disaster weakened his grip on power and emboldened his enemies. In 1814, Napoleon was forced to abdicate the throne and was exiled to the island of Elba. However, he would not remain there for long. In 1815, he escaped and returned to France, rallying supporters in what became known as the Hundred Days. Although he briefly reclaimed power, his final defeat loomed on the horizon. The Battle of Waterloo in 1815 proved to be the decisive moment that sealed Napoleon's fate. Facing a coalition of British and Prussian forces, Napoleon suffered a crushing defeat. This marked the end of his reign and set the stage for his final exile. Following his defeat at Waterloo, Napoleon was exiled once again, this time to the remote island of Street. Helena in the South Atlantic. Cut off from the world, he spent his final years reflecting on his legacy and dictating his memoirs. And so, the curtain falls on the extraordinary life of Napoleon Bonaparte. His rise from humble beginnings to becoming an emperor, his sweeping reforms, and his military prowess still leave an indelible mark on history. But the tale of Napoleon is also a cautionary one, a reminder of the dangers of unchecked ambition and the transience of power. 
Join us next time as we delve into another fascinating chapter of human history. Until then, remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to never miss an episode. Thanks for watching.